Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about planning. So for example, you've had your interview and you're asked to prepare a demo lesson or just asked to take a life lesson as a teacher who's willing to you know, move to the UK, to the US, to Canada, to the Middle East to ensure that you really know what it entails with teaching and you understand the framework of what you're expected of as a teacher. You don't have to know what works there, but you can always, you know, um, use these guidelines to ensure that you have at least a very good lesson. So first is, what are you teaching? Um, for the American curriculum, their standards, or you have to look at the British curriculum and see what the kids are expected to know. So what am I supposed to teach? And then you can, from there, you can form your topic and um, who are you teaching? Um, what are the, do they know some certain things before? Are they able to identify? Are they able to, you know, um, analyze? And then do you have, you know, a differentiated plan for the kids, you know, the number of kids and all of that. And then how are you going to teach it? So what step-by-step step way are you going to teach it so you can set up your objective and say, okay, this is my plan, and then I follow this logical sequence. And how do I know if my students understand that's the assessment for learning? Now, for me, I would usually have one goal, an objective. So my goal may be to create something which is the highest level of um, blue ta taxonomy verbs. So it should be to create something. And for me to be able to ensure that the kids can create one, they should be able to remember or identify. Then they should be able to, whatever they can identify, can they apply it to make sentences? Can they analyze or evaluate or can they create? So you start with your I can sentences for your objective. I can identify. I can analyze, or I can apply, or I can create. So, in your teaching, all of these are very important when you are delivering your, your teaching or all your activities in class, ensuring that the kids are able to think critically and answer questions and solve problems, and um, you're able to communicate clearly with the kids in the right tone, and they understand whatever you're saying. Collaborator, the kids are always working together to you know collaborate. You work with them, they work with you, and they work together as a team to ensure that they deliver whatever expectation they are expected to do at the end of the lesson. And they're able to create something that is relevant, which is the highest level of the Bloom's taxonomy verbs. So now, these are the elements of the plan that I feel you should have. So if it's an American school, it could be the standards. When you look at the standards, what standards do I want to achieve? And what are the resources that is required to achieve all of this? Do I have the resources then I can come up with my topic? And then when I'm coming up with my topic, I have one goal. Maybe the goal is to create, to be able to create a postcard in French. Uh, my objective is I can identify, I can analyze sentences, or I can identify, I can apply what I've identified, then I can create. So, for example, I can identify words in French, I can apply the words I've learned in French to create sentences, and I can use the sentences to create a postcard in French. So you have your starter, a very short activity, that you know entices them into the learning and they want to you know continue learning and they are excited they're like wow i need to know what next what's my teacher going to do next i'm so excited about it you know <laughs> and um this is also should could also be something that is connect them to the learning and makes it easier for you to deliver your direct instruction as well so then you go to the direct instruction Ensure that you have the school values and how you're delivering your words and how you're delivering your 
instructions and how you also have the five C's communication, you know, culture, you know, and all of that is being put into consideration when you are delivering your lesson and the content. So, and the concept check, when you finish the direct instruction, you have to check the concept as well to see if they understand what you've asked, you've told them to do. And then you can do it at, at the same time. You can have them write something on a card and raise it up or do the thumbs up and thumbs down. So you have the mini assessment. It could be a group activity or a an individual activity just to check if they know it. Here, usually I have like maybe two correct answers and one wrong answer. And they are supposed to pick one wrong answer or the wrong answer and tell me why the answer is wrong. Thereby, they've been able to explain to me and I also concept check again. Then you have the main assessment, which is the how do you know if the students actually understand final you know, stage in the lesson. So you have to say, okay, the, does it reflect to the goal or the objectives? So you could also differentiate, you should differentiate in your main activity. So in the main activity covers all the objective. So you can have it from simple to, you know, something within the range of what they should do. Then you have an extra challenge where kids you know, will be challenged to train critically or to do something extra. And once they're able to finish this, then you do your peer assessment or individual assessment. And once they have assessed their work or their peers have assessed their work by themselves, by their, like, in between each other, be by themselves or by their peers. And once they're done with this, they can tell you what the next steps have, where they need to work on. And for those who have accomplished what they need to do that day, you can also tell them what the next thing they need to do to keep encouraging them to be good at what they are doing and then to achieve proficiency. So proficiency is the key. Home learning, please don't mind my spelling. Home learning is something they will take home to see if they can proceed with learning. It could be a link, it could be a quiz, it could be something that will keep them going with the learning and then wanting them to be in the next class and think of what they've learned. And then with all of this, you have to collect your evidence for data analysis. So you need to um, to get all the evidence to show that they are learning. For me, in my, in my previous application, when I had my life lesson, I told the kids to complete a work online. So I used my Padlet link and then I was able to get everybody's work in one page at the same time. And then it also helps the school to know that you're willing to ensure that you monitor the students' learning and then you ensure that you help them even when they're outside the classroom. So that's it. Thank you.